everybody. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use designbundles.net and to upload your uh, product on the website. So to actually get to this page to upload your product, you have to actually apply for it. And then after you apply for it, you're going to go to create product right here on the left hand side. And then you're going to be ending up on this page right here where you get to finally put your product up. So I'm going to scroll down right here and we're going to first begin by looking at the product name and we're going to type in what our product's about. Okay, so for my game it's actually a printable that I put and it's a hangman a printable game. So I'm going to just put hangman game and then I'm going to put the categories. For the printable that I am using, there is a category just for printable so I'm going to put that uh, category. Okay, so I put my category and it's the crafters uh, printables. And then I'm going to go down here and this is the price. So I'm going to put $4 because that is the minimum price that you have to put for the product price. On the right hand side, you're going to see corporate license price. It's going to change depending on what you put for the product price. So for example, if I put $8, it's going to go to 64. If I just go back to four, it's going to go back to 32. So I, and I just leave it on the automatic uh, corporate license price they give me. So I'm going to go to the bottom. So here, this is the product type. I'm going to put single product because it is just one single product. But if you do have a bundle in this product, then you definitely want to press bundle product. Okay, so we're in the product description section and now I'm going to write out my description. This is the description I used and uh, all I did was just say something simple. Uh, I would definitely put more than what I just put now. I just want to show you what it looks like. But yeah, you want to explain what the product is about. You want to explain the different sizes that comes with it, different file types. Have an action, uh, call to action for download your copy today. And something like that just to get the customer to be um, excited about your product. Here we're in the product tag section and this is the keyword research part. For this section, you do need to use some kind of tools, whether it be using Google or keyword research softwares or using your common sense. So I'm just going to type on a few. There are 30 tags. For this video, I'm not going to do 30 tags, but I do recommend using 30 tags to fill out all your product tags. Okay, so this is what I filled out. Again, I do want to recommend that you use up to all the 30 tags. For the file includes, I'm going to put PDF because that's the file type I have. If you have other file types like JPEG or PNG, or if it's a doc, then I would definitely check these off. This is the product group. I don't have any groups set up for me right now, so I have nothing, but if you do have one, then you want to press that one. This is the product discount, and this is a few discount examples that I want to show you. So there's a 20% off, 10% off, 50% off. To actually make these discounts, you have to go to the left-hand side, and it's on the discount section right here and that's how I set it up. So I'm just going to put 20% off just to give a little more incentive to the customers. So we're in product themes. If there's a theme for your product, and I'm going to show you, for example, there's accessories, alcohol, American football, anatomy, ancient animals. If there's a certain theme that's going on in your product, definitely want to put it, especially if it's like a Christmas product, you want to check box Christmas. We're in the project section and in this section you're going to check box the product that it, your, uh, your product's related to. So I'm going to go down and see what this is related to. So I'm going to put games because I feel like that's what it is. So for the YouTube video, if you have a video of your product, you want to put URL link. Uh, this is the Pinterest section. If you have an image of your product as a Pinterest image, you want to put that. And this is a section where you want to put your image. So I'm going to put my image that I have. I'm going to just drag and drop there. Okay, it's uploaded and then we're going to go to lower. So this is the final page, I believe, or the final section. And this is the product files. You're going to just drag and drop it into there as well. For my example, I did use a zip file. I just find it it's a little bit easier for me just to have all the files and compile together. But if you want to do it separately, you can do it as well because it's up to 30 files. Okay, if that looks good, you're going to go to the bottom and you're going to press product. 